on Sunday, we discussed living in the overflow, which is defined as living in a state of being a productive disciple for the kingdom of God. And as we discussed being in the overflow, we talked about how Jesus dwelled in Galilee of the Gentiles in Matthew chapter four. And as he dwelled in Galilee of the Gentiles, which was known as a place of darkness, it was a place of darkness spiritually. And it was also known as the land of the shadow of death. And Jesus, going into Galilee of the Gentiles, brought a great light. He came preaching and teaching and healing. And how did he do that? He went obediently. He went consistently. He went purposefully. He went prayerfully. He went compassionately. He went civilly. And he went with all humility, with the sense of holy boldness. So what does that say for us? As we go forth into the land of the shadow of death, number one, we have to be obedient. Number two, we have to be consistent. Number three, we must go with the purpose. Number four, we must go prayerfully. Number five, we must be compassionate with our brothers and our sisters. Number six, we must go civilly, which means we need to know how to act. And last but not least, we need to walk in all humility with a sense of holy boldness as we strive to walk in the overflow. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this a new day that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your tender mercies. And we thank you for loving us in spite of ourselves. As we seek to approach you on today, we simply ask you to forgive us of our sins. And we simply ask you to fall afresh on us one more time, Heavenly Father. We ask you to prepare us to serve on today. Prepare us to meet the needs in the community. We don't know what we're going to come up against, but give us a mindset to walk in obedience. Give us a mindset to walk consistently. Give us a mindset to walk with purpose. Give us a mindset to be prayerful as we go. Give us a mindset, Lord, to be compassionate as we strive to love our brothers and our sisters. And give us a heart to be civil, to live right, to love right, and walk right in front of all seekers. And as we go forth on today, give us a mind to be humble vessels. And even though we are humble vessels seeking to be like you, let us have a sense of holy boldness as we go forth into a time that we've never seen before. We ask you to bless those who are sick, we ask you to bless those who are shut in. We ask you to bless those who have trouble in their home. We ask you to look over our children on today as they come and as they go. And we simply ask you to be with all of us as we boldly go out into this new day. Lord, we love you. We honor you. And let what we do and what we say be pleasing in your sight. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a blessed day and live in the overflow.